Let's get ready for Christmas. I'm going to share some grocery haul, cooking, baking, storing food, gift ideas, making a little fire in the kitchen. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> gift idea and holding the home together for the holidays. The bells and bells, but I'll be This video is sponsored by Zwilling Group. When it comes to small present, it is very tricky because we want to show that we care, but we don't want to overdo it either. So I want to prepare these for the teachers. We cut some walnuts in half. That wasn't really the easiest part of it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but once we achieved that, it was very fast and easy to put them together. I used some glue gun, some moss, little mushrooms, and I just added a little hook on the top. To wrap these itty bitty things, I'm going to create some boxes and I'm going to just adjust the size and I will fold them and it will have a perfect size and a very cute look. It was the night before Christmas, I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. I choose a nice red color for the boxes because I got some cards that has some golden on it. I can add a little greenery to it. And maybe so did you that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on. have a few things on my list that I really have to get done but I also I don't feel good today so we'll see how far I'm gonna get with this when I wash the eggs I like to use some salt and some warm water because it keeps the pores open and doesn't close the all the bacteria in there The orange flag is up and it's getting red. <laughs> I really don't feel good. So in the hope of getting and feeling better, I'm going to make some tea. Okay, the tea is not enough, so let's see if the rest will help.
after a good rest and lots of chicken soup I'm feeling so much better and I'm ready to tackle the Christmas cooking that starts with processing all the vegetables I have that means peeling them and I'm going to store them in the swilling containers and bags which will keep all the food fresh up to five times longer than any other containers So now you know why I don't have a sound at times on my video. You're welcome. <laughs> I love this food storage system because it saves me time. I don't have to go to the grocery store that often, which is very important because we live farther from the stores where we like to buy our food. I really like the size of these containers as well and they are see-through and I can bake in them so I can cut down on steps when I have to use different dishes to bake and prepare and store so that way I have to wash less dishes as well and since it's glass I see what's in them so that was another criteria that I was looking for when I was looking for this storage system and since it's made from glass it is non-toxic the fresh and safe container starter kit comes with a handy vacuum that takes out the air from the container and it lasts a long time between charging. We reduced the food waste with this storage system. The size of the containers are spot on and I can freeze and bake and store in these containers. If you are interested in this fresh and safe food storage system, I have a code use Scandish Home and you will receive 10 extra bags for free. The links are in the description box. If we would follow the tradition where we grew up, we would have all this traditional food on the 24th, the Christmas Eve and on the Christmas Day but we changed that so throughout the week as the Christmas is coming up I like to prepare food two or three different kind a day so that way I can set it aside and usually those are food that can last a long time in the refrigerator and of course with the swilling dishes I can store them longer so that way I can manage all the things that I have to do before Christmas and that way I get to enjoy it more putting off this project for a while but I find an easier way to make it so I'm going to do it today I have some cute fabrics that I'm going to wash first and clean them well I used some dish soap and vinegar going to dry them a little bit when they are still wet that's when I'm going to start to iron them going to put some wax on them but I want to avoid to use the iron for that I'm just preparing the fabric and this is a cute idea for as a Christmas present as well because it's very useful but you can make them at home to protect my baking sheet I'm going to use some foil
there are some recipes out there where they suggest to use other oils as well but i'm just going to use some plain organic bee wax Yeah, that's gonna be really fun to clean off. It is a very foggy and super cold winter day, so it is a perfect time to do this project because it's easier to cool off the wax on the fabric. It is a very easy project and it goes very fast and it fills up the whole house with this honey scent. The last time when I tried to, to make these wax wrappers, it, it just ended up with a huge mess. I used an iron and I used some wax paper, but they leaked through somehow. So my iron got really waxy and my ironing board got ruined. So I find this method is easier, faster. I'm holding up to release all the excess but <laughs> my arm gets tired <laughs> I put my oven on a 300 Fahrenheit and it literally just only takes a minute or two so I had to stay in the kitchen make sure I keep my eyes on it because it goes really fast This is a very soft lemon and I was thinking to turn that into some fluffy but creamy, I don't know what's it called, but I added some yogurt, three egg yolk, about two tablespoons of gluten-free flour and one tablespoon of ghee and I just mix it together. Oh, and lemon flavor, lots of lemon flavor. Probably I added three teaspoon of it and maple syrup but you can just taste that how sweet you want it and i'm going to bake it in this zwilling dish which is a perfect size i love that it's not too big not too small it's just perfect for a dessert There are certain food that Joad can do better than I am <laughs> and that would be the Swedish pancake. He can do the best omelette and he can do all the things on the barbecue. He can make really good meat on the barbecue. I 
think today is the first day when I actually feel more energized. I mean, this cord was so nasty. <laughs> it made me so tired and I'm just coming out of it. So in the last couple of days, I was just doing some lighter things. But today I want to cook a lot for Christmas. Uh, we have some traditional food that I want to prepare and I need uh, some ground pork for that and some cooked rice and I'm adding some garlic and some eggs so basically I'm going to make two different type of dish but the meatball will be the same in there There are many ways to do the stuffed cabbage and today I'm going to have a simple approach. I have some pickled cabbage leaves and I'm going to wrap the meatballs in there. I ended up not having enough pickled cabbage leaves so some of the dumplings just will be without that which is fine because some of us in the family like it that way better for the next dish i'm going to use this tomato sauce and i used three of them and i'm going to add a lot of maple syrup so for this three jars of tomato sauce i added at least one cup of maple syrup obviously my brain fog hasn't healed from the cord because i put up some coconut sugar on the cooktop and then i went to my other son's room and chat with him not my beloved stove pot I have to fix that so I'm going to boil some water and baking soda in there and that will have to loosen up I mean that sugar is just bonded with this pot I hope I can clean it out This is the coconut sugar that I burned in there. How's the pot doing? I just finished cleaning it out. I was able to clean out the whole thing. It looks like brand new. It was it, it bonded together like it was like pure sugar that I put in there. Not even a fat, nothing.
Wow, this has happened to me in the past and this is when I had to repurchase the Anima pot in the past but not with this stove pot. I'm impressed with the quality because one of the quality that you can spot if you can clean it easier besides that is non-toxic but it was easier to clean like uh, the pots that I purchased in the past I had to repurchase them like three times because <laughs> because of this burning situation and now I was able to just clean it out so on the long run the quality pays off I am going to head to the store but before that I'm going to pick up the bedroom a little bit so when I was sick I was opening all the gifts that you guys have sent me and I just want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart I so appreciate you for being here and for your kindness and I enjoyed all the letters and all the cute gifts that you guys have sent me and I just want to say how much I appreciate you all this incredible blanket that one of my subscribers made and this scarf is just really like I can't put them down <laughs> I got lots of compliments with that scarf and the blanket kept me warm when I was sick so thank you so much for making this beautiful beautiful blanket and scarf and the little coasters and I really enjoyed this slipper and thank you so much for your leather and by not saying the names I just want to respect your privacy but I wanted to let you guys know that I received those beautiful things and I really enjoy them and I feel very thankful to you guys. I came to H Mart because they have very specific things that I need for the Christmas cooking. Mama's looking worried. Will the pie be ready in time? Papa's out getting a tree while my sister and me are writing verses and rhymes. They have these cute itty bitty apples every Christmas and I got some pork bellies and then the pork skin that I needed for a specific dish. I got some rosemary and mushrooms, chestnuts, lotus, shiitake mushroom, rice cakes, parsimons and honey tangerines. Joel is really enjoying to play pranks on me. One after the other, knocking at the door. There, everybody's welcome, the rich and the poor. Kids putting away all the grocery. The While the grown ups all huddle up beside away from the blistering cold. going to finish up the third dish so now it is warm but not hot and I'm going to mix all the turnips and carrots and I'm adding some mustard as well and I'm just going to mix it together although this recipe is up on my website Now that this pot survived my Christmas cooking, I'm going to put to a rest, but not for long. Tomorrow I'm going to cook more. I 
hope you guys enjoying this Christmas season and while well, it wasn't really ideal to skip the video last week because I wanted to share so many other things as I'm preparing for Christmas and it I really lost a week right before Christmas when it's so busy and <laughs> but this is just shows nothing else matter just make sure we are well rested healthy we have some food on the table and that's what the season is about Thank you guys so much for watching until the end and if you enjoy this content I have a playlist for you here and also here's another video for you if you wanna check this out I will see you in there.